The Oxford Sail video blog today reports on the RMK Marine Shipyard in Tuzla, close to Istanbul in Turkey. Now, those of you that follow my channel regularly will know that I went there just over a month ago. But in the short time that I was there, I was hardly able to scratch the surface upon the incredible things that this shipyard does. So today, we're going to dig a little deeper. The most striking thing about the RMK shipyard is the size and the industrial nature of the facility. There's so much going on here, whether it's building enormous chemical tankers, refitting super yachts or building new vessels. Coming as I do from a background of Italian yacht builders where a lot of effort is made to make the offices very ostentatious and sales and marketing departments are full of middle management positions. I have to say, I found the approach of RMK quite a contrast and very refreshing. Here, they just get on with the business of working on marine projects, and some of them very, very big indeed. In 2014, they launched two of these huge tankers designed to carry asphalt and bitumen, each one 155 meters long and 25 meters wide. In commercial shipping, delivering these kind of vessels on time is of the greatest importance, and the ships have to be in top working order. This kind of accomplishment is a better calling card than any gold embossed 3mm thick one with a fancy logo on it. This is proof conclusive of the company's ability to deliver. These enormous tankers are just a couple of examples of the vessels that RMK Marine are capable of building though. They also have significant contracts with ministries of defense for ships such as these OPV class corvettes and this very cool looking multi-mission Corvette. Now just think of the auditing and thorough scrutiny that a company has to go through before a Ministry of Defense will entrust them with building some of their naval fleet. It's no surprise to me that some yacht owners are now starting to look at commercial ship builders to build their luxury yachts, especially when it comes to explore yachts. And the advantage that RMK Marine have is that not only do they have a very well-established track record in building some truly huge vessels, but they also have a proven track record in the production of luxury yachts. The first example of this that springs to mind is the 45-meter luxury explorer yacht launched in 2012 under the name Carrier. She has since been renamed as Calliope. This is a rugged, go-anywhere explorer yacht with a steel hull and aluminium superstructure that benefits from all of RMK's shipbuilding experience. But her interiors are as exquisitely appointed and beautifully constructed as can be found on any luxury yacht in the world. All of the cabinetry at RMK is in fact built in house, which is quite a different approach to most Italian builders and is a massive factor in containing the overall costs of a build. In line with their no-nonsense industrial approach to yacht building, RMK were also contracted by the British company Oyster to build a series of their larger models of sailing yachts. While I visited the shipyard, they showed me this mock-up cabin of an Oyster 100 so that they could approach the projects with all the confidence of knowing exactly what was expected of them and demonstrate their ability to perform. RMK went on to build the 100-foot Oyster yacht Sarafin in 2011, sister ship Penelope in 2012, and the largest of the Oyster range of yachts, 125-foot Twilight in 2013. It should be said that prior to performing so well for Oyster, RMK had already established their presence in the world of large sailing yachts by building and delivering this stunning 52-meter Nazanin 5 back in 2009. This aluminium ketch had such an impact on the yachting industry, she actually received a judge's special commendation prize in the World Super Yacht Awards the following year. And if you thought that RMK is just a Turkish shipyard, let me tell you that nothing could be further from the truth. As I mentioned in my previous video, they're part of the Koch group of companies. RMK, in fact, standing for Rami M. Koch, who's the major shareholder and chairman of that group. They are the only Turkish company included in the Fortune 500 list, had a turnover of more than 27 billion 
US dollars last year. And back in 2013, they bought a rather famous shipyard in the United States of America. Merrill Stevens has been providing service and refits to super yachts in Miami since 1920. It's one of the most established and certainly the most historic of names in the industry. Since purchasing the company, RMK Merrill Stevens has prospered, recently upgrading their 70-ton travel lift to a 100-ton travel lift and building a 2,700-ton ship lift to accommodate some pretty heavy-duty vessels. Travelling to Turkey and discovering RMK Marine for me has been like mining in an area that not many people go to and discovering a rich vein of gold. Most yacht brokers spend their time in the south of France, the Balearic Islands, Fort Lauderdale, and that's totally understandable. But by going to an area that's less frequented by yacht brokers, I've discovered an industrial giant in terms of production capacity with a proven track record of producing luxury yachts of all kinds, motor yachts, sailing yachts, refit projects, explorer yachts, and they also have many, many more projects underway. In next week's video, I'll be looking at just two of those projects in more detail. So make sure that you don't miss out on that great information by subscribing to my channel.